Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to give a demonstration of how to import uh, data from SPSS into our studio. And uh, rather than kind of assuming that we're going to be working with a complete data set, I wanted to show you a few things with respect to uh, data sets that happen to have missing values. So um, the data set that we're going to be working with or importing uh, is going to be this one right here. This is um, just an SPSS data file that I have saved on my computer, uh, reg data missing dot save. And uh, so we're going to, and you'll notice in this data set, we've got uh, some blank spaces basically representing missing values on these particular variables. Now, uh, the thing is, is that, you know, when you have your data set set up in this kind of way, uh, the missing values, uh, you know, yes, it may actually mi uh, represent missing data as a function of, um, you know, non-response on a survey item or things like that. But it's also possible that, you know, certain errors might crop up. Maybe if you're entering data by hand or something like that, you might end up uh, failing to, you um, uh, populate that particular cell, and so you just end up with a blank space. And so you don't really know whether or not the missingness is a result of actual missing data or due to some type of error um, uh, when the data is actually the data set is actually being created. So one of the strategies that you can adopt is to uh, utilize missing value codes. And so right now, if I was to run like an SPSS, um, uh, let's say a linear regression. And um, just as is, uh, basically what will happen is, is that the program will would default by utilizing listwise deletion, recognizing those blank spaces as uh, reflecting missing data on those particular variables. And then it would actually listwise delete uh, the entire case during the analysis. However, again, if, if we, we don't... Um, let if we don't really know for sure whether or not that data is missing or if it's due to some type of error, then um, we could end up uh, inadvertently, you know, kind of leaving out cases that we shouldn't. And so a, a strategy for dealing with that is to use missing value codes. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do first is just I'm going to import this data as is just to show you what it looks like in uh, our studio, and then I'm going to show you, um, you know, how to import data with a missing value code and have it register in our studio as missing. And then also another situation where, uh, you know, it, it might fail to register uh, a missing value code, but then how you can actually make the change in our studio so that uh, missingness is recognized. So I'm going to start just by going into our studio and. Uh, the first thing I actually am going to do is I'm going to go up here to session and set my working memory. The data set that I'm going to be working with is actually uh, housed in a folder on my computer. So I'm going to go to that directory on my computer, and uh, it's actually under uh, this data management folder and under missing data right here. So when I uh, press uh, the open button, it's essentially setting the working directory so that now um, you know, when I uh, am trying to kind of access that data set, uh, it's going to point me to that particular folder. And then also, if I do any saving or whatever, then it would save to that folder as well. So I'll go ahead and go to File and Import Data Set and then go down to uh, From SPSS. And I'll click on that. And so now with this uh, box that's opened up, I can click on Browse and it takes me to that folder automatically. So I don't have to go searching uh, through everything to find it. So I'm going to select this uh, SPSS data file right here. That's the reg uh, space data space missing. And I'll click uh, Open right there. And so you'll get a preview. And as you're looking at the preview, you'll notice that uh, so, you know we have values on a number of our variables. But you'll also see this little NA down here uh, where we have missingness. So this is just kind of the first uh, set of uh, rows in our data set. And that's kind of showing you a couple of cases where we have missing data on that interest variable right there. And so uh, when you're working with R Studio, just keep in mind that in R, in R by the same token, uh, that NA is, is the value uh, that allows a program to recognize missingness uh, in your data. So uh, if you happen to have a missing value code and you import the data and you don't see NA associated with those um, those uh, um, 
codes that are that are that you're using for missing this, then when you run your analysis, it's going to treat those values as legitimate values uh, during your data analysis, and you don't want that to be the case. So that is a really important thing to keep in mind. So if I go ahead and I'll uh, click on import down here at the bottom, you'll see in our uh, panel above we we have you know uh, just our data uh, that's shown. Again, you can see the NA uh, cells uh, basically uh, capturing the missingness. There's you know some more right there, and then there are uh, still some more down here. So if, if you happen to have an SPSS data file where you have uh, cells that are blank, meaning there's nothing in there, um, and you import the data, then the program RStudio is going to automatically treat those, uh, those observations as missing. And again, that may or may not be a reflection of true missingness um, during the data collection process itself. It could just be some type of error. And so, again, you don't know for sure whether or not um, you have legitimate missingness or, you know, a, a missingness due to some type of error. So one thing that we could do is if we go back to our data set, we can actually uh, assign a missing value code. So a common way to do this is to assign a code that falls really well outside of the range of the observed uh, values on your variables. So I might use something like uh, 999 uh, to represent missingness. So for all of these uh, observations right here, I might just include 999. And uh, I didn't include a, a whole lot of additional uh, missing cases in here. We just wanted to keep it kind of short right there. So now um, at this point, um, you know, if I try to import the data, if I save this and then try to import this data set, um, right at this point, what would happen is that the program that uh, RStudio would only recognize the 999s and treat them as legitimate observations, which is not what we want. So if you're in SPSS, uh, the way around this problem is to use uh, the little option for missing value code. So for instance, right here, you can assign for where it says discrete missing values, you can type in 999 and have that uh, code registered when it's uh, being imported into RStudio. And then it, you'll you'll see it as a uh, NA in the actual data set. But just to, just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, let's just say we leave it this way. And let's say that uh, at this point, we aren't going to assign any missing value uh, 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 codes uh, for this missingness column right here under the uh, variable view. And let's just see what happens. I'll go ahead and go to File, Save As, and I'll just call this uh, Reg Data Missing 1. And uh, at this point, we'll go back into RStudio, and I will, um, I'll just kind of get rid of this, and I'll uh, go back to File, Import Data Set right here. Go to uh, from SPSS. We'll click on browse, and if I click on uh, uh, missing value or missing right there one, I'll click on open, and so now you can see those values appear uh, as nine nine nine. So you can see right here it's not re registering this uh, observation or this observation as missing. It's it's actually treating those as legitimate values on uh, that particular variable. So again, if we just import this, you'll see uh, that's going to be the case for all of these. So you can see right here that we've got, um, again, there's our negative, there's our 999, 999 down here. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit further, you'll see, uh, you know, uh, you'll see some more of them. Uh, here's another one down here. I won't go through all of them, but these are just kind of highlighting uh, those 999. So that's not what we want. If I try to run, a, a, say, a regression analysis or whatever using this data set as is, it's going to treat those as legitimate values, and it's going to give me inaccurate results when I run my analysis. So... In that particular case, uh, the way around that is to go back and make sure that when we run our analysis that we do have those missing value codes registered. So if we go under um, under variable view here, go to missing, what we'll do is we'll, uh, again, we'll click on discrete missing values and I'll type 999 right here and uh, okay. And, it, and 
you know, sometimes in data sets, you'll have more than one missing value code. So you could assign those as well in some of these other boxes. But we're sticking with 999 right here. So we'll click on OK. And um, you can do this by, uh, by row, but I'm going to copy these and paste those uh, values in there. And so now I'll call this data set, I'll call it uh, missing two. So uh, reg data missing two dot save and click on uh, save button right here. And so now going back under R Studio, I'll kind of get rid of this again, and we'll go to file import data set from SPSS browse and we'll go under uh, reg data missing two click on open and so now you can see that those values that we had um, assigned a missing value code now they're registering as in a in our uh, in our um, data set or at least when we are going to be importing it into our studio so I'll click on that and so once again uh, here we are there's our na right there na down here uh, and then those other NAs, which will then be recognized as uh, missingness on those uh, values uh, for those particular cases. So there they are right there. So now let's uh, consider one other situation. Let's say we have uh, imported our data. Let's say we go back to the, um, you know, the first example. And uh, where we have, uh, you know, reg data missing one, I'll click on open and import here. So in this case, we still have those 999s showing up and the program would be treating these uh, observations as legitimate values on uh, our variables. And we don't want to do that. So what I can do is I can do a recode, though, on those and uh, basically recode uh, these values into uh, NAs so that when you run uh, your analysis later on, uh, the program will recognize uh, those um, those values as missing. So that's uh, another strategy that you can use. I'll be honest; it's really just quicker just to uh, go into SPSS and uh, set the you know fix those missing value codes or you know put them into the uh, spreadsheet and then use the uh, missing value uh, codes option under the variables view and then import it. It makes life a lot easier. But this is just a, another option. And if you happen to have a code that's imported, but um, but um, the uh, but the program's not going to recognize uh, those uh, values as missing, so we can use a recode here. And not all other um, you know uh, approaches to importing data, like if you're using if you're say importing from a text file or something like that, it's not going to you don't I don't believe that you have that option uh, for um, specifying a missing value code up front. So in that case, being able to do a recode is actually a valuable um, thing to know. So what I'll do is, you know, given that we've imported the data, you'll see that down below in the console, we have uh, essentially all the commands that would have we would have typed directly had we uh, been, you know, inputting it um, you know, line by line, but the uh, that kind of import wizard is doing all this for us. But the data that uh, that is associated with the reg underscore data missing um, uh, basically is saved in a an object that's called reg underscore data underscore missing one right there. And so this is actually where you know this is the command where the data is read in from SPSS and saved to this uh, object right here. So it's essentially uh, a data frame. And uh, what we can do is we can um, essentially uh, instruct the program to recode those values of 999 into NA. So that's the uh, data frame name right there. So we're going to use that data frame name uh, in order to uh, do our recode. So the way that we can do this is we can, uh, I just kind of copied it and I'll paste, excuse me, I'll actually, I'll just go ahead and um, I'll just go ahead and type it in. Reg data underscore missing um, one right there. And then from there, what we'll do is we will uh, type a bracket and then we'll type it again. We'll type reg underscore data underscore missing one. And we're going to use two equal signs and then type 999. So what's happening is, is that inside the bracket, this is basically kind of setting a condition. And so that, uh, you know, when we are, um, when we 
click run or, or basically uh, run this, uh, it's going to recognize those uh, missing va those uh, values of 999 uh, as kind of the focal condition, if you will. And so we're going to type an arrow, basically a less than sign followed by a hyphen, and then type in A. So then when I press enter, then you can see that now the data set has changed up above. And so you'll see that we've got, uh, it's still the uh, same data frame, but now you see that we have NAs appearing up here. And so indeed, if I was to just uh, type this, or I'll just copy this and instead of kind of save us a little bit of time there and hit enter, you can see that those NAs are appearing in our data set. This is actually the first 10 rows of our data. So those are, you know, several options that you have for making sure that that uh, R Studio and and R by the same token uh, are recognizing uh, intended um, are recognizing uh, missing values uh, that are true missing values and not missing values due to some type of you know error or whatever. So again, you can use those missing value codes as a way of of uh, you know letting yourself know that uh, the missingness is a legitimate missingness and not due to not due to error. So anyway, that's going to kind of wrap up this uh, video presentation, and I hope you found it useful.